Hey, Arnold. Decided to hang out in the park, did ya? Looks like this burrito was out of your league. Quick, find something to drink. Arnold, wait. God knows what might be in this magic shop. Well, since you successfully solved your Mexican food problem, let's go have some fun. What a huge line. It looks like you'll have to wait for a bit. Or... Arnold, this is not a good thing to do. Looks like this cute little granny needs your help. Arnold, watch out! You know, Arnold, I decided to go to the morgue and say my final goodbyes to you. Oh my god, are you alive? No, you've been resurrected! It seems that the elixir you drank worked. You are now immortal. Congratulations, Arnold. You will now be the longest living organism on Earth. Your body is now regenerating, and the term cellular senescence is now just a joke for you. Well, how are you gonna use your immortality? Got it, you'll cross the road on red. Grope random girls. You'll also win the Kenny McCormick Lookalike Contest. That's ridiculous. You have an infinite number of years ahead of you, and you waste them on this? Arnold, you could study everything in the world, learn any martial art, and even go explore and colonize new galaxies. Arnold, how about maybe stop wasting your time? Okay, so maybe for 200 years, you're gonna binge watch every single Netflix series. I see you got a little bored. Plus, your house has started to decay and you're still young. One of the disadvantages of immortality is that you have to outlive all your loved ones. In addition, the world around you is changing rapidly, but you will lag behind in progress and you will feel superfluous in society. Everything that was once important to you will gradually disappear. Over time, everything will cease to please and surprise you at all, because you've already seen everything. You will become deeply depressed. Sorry, friend, but it's no use. Stop it, Arnold. You know you're immortal. Arnold, let's go watch the show. Arnold. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Wow, Arnold, congratulations. You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. Here, there's even a wall of paintings of God made by great historical artists. Here, there's e in ancient times, people believed that God was oh. terrifying and bloodthirsty. For example, Aztecs constantly sacrificed people to their god, Huitzilopochtli, to make it rain. The ancient Greek gods personified human qualities or natural phenomena. Unfortunately, Arnie, in the Christian paradise, unlike the Muslim one, you don't get 72 virgins. But hey, look, right there, it's John Lennon. Or is that Jesus again? And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh, he's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. This is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world, has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great, now everything's gone haywire. Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Phew, just in time. Hey, God, don't take this the wrong way, but thank God you're here. Arnold, looks like you're done.
What could be more wonderful than a summer walk in the park? We don't choose our destiny, it chooses us. Arnold, look out! Wow, looks like someone spilled radioactive waste here. Hey, Arnold, now you can be a superhero. Did you know that Marvel's Wolverine was originally going to be called Badger Man? So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool. This is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, Isa. Machi is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity, and he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. What about you, Arnold? Wow, congratulations! I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. But seriously, if you think your superpowers are ludicrous, check out DC Comics' Dog Welder, whose power is to weld dogs to his enemies. Zeitgeist from the X-Men, after an all-night drinking binge, discovered he had the ability to puke acid. Did you know Batman's net worth is $98 billion? Seems like being a superhero can be a very lucrative business. And the very first copy of the Superman comic book was sold at auction for three and a half million dollars. And judging by the number of requests on Google, Spider-Man is now more popular than the president of the United United States. Arnold, I know this is very cool, but still, the main job of a superhero is not to bask in glory, but to fight for good. Hey guys, the world is in danger. The world is doomed without you. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Huh? This is the world's first bioengineered human skin. In 2011, Dutch scientists created a goat that could produce material for spider webs in its milk, and then they turned that stuff into human skin. This skin is 15 times stronger than steel, and it can stop 5.56 caliber bullets. The study officially ended. But what if the experiments continued in secret? Congratulations, Arnold! You just volunteered for the bulletproof skin test. Wow! You still alive, Superman? So, a successful test. Hey, Arnie, these guys seem pretty happy with the outcome, but they want to up the ante. A grenade launcher fires a grenade from its barrel at a speed of 120 meters per second, and it can pierce 50 centimeters of steel armor. Now we need something more serious. For example, skin made from fullerene. This is the strongest material known to science, an allotrope of carbon, and it's 200 times stronger than the strongest steel. Congratulations, Arnie! Your fullerene skin can withstand a rocket-propelled grenade, which, of course, cannot be said about your brain. The shockwave has turned it into jiggly jelly. But luckily, you're in a super-secret lab. That's right, Arnold! Perfect time to get away! After all, now automatic weapons can't hurt you. In fact, you can't be strangled, and even getting hit by a car won't hurt you. But your strength, Arnie, you little wimp, that hasn't changed a bit. But instead, as I can see, now you've got nerves of steel. But the problem is, Arnold, now you have to hide for the rest of your life so that no one knows that you've got super skin. Wait, what? I see, Arnie. You'll do anything for likes. Well, each his own. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. 
ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. It looks like Elon Musk wants to find out if we can develop telepathic abilities in a human being. Don't worry, Arnold. They'll let you go if you answer correctly. So, guess what's in the picture? Wrong! And on this one. No! Get it together, man! Such experiments were carried out in the 1950s in the USA. Their goal was to develop paranormal abilities in soldiers in order to gain an advantage in the Cold War. The test subjects were given LSD, since LSD significantly increases the activity of neural connections. Arnold, pull yourself together already. Even a rat learns faster than that. Well, true, this ain't no ordinary rat. He has a chip in his brain. Scientists proved the possibility of transmitting nerve impulses from a distance back in 2013. The rats were in different cities, but they acted together, thanks to electrodes implanted in their brains and the internet. It looks like Elon Musk is going to try all the different ways to develop telepathy on you at the same time. Arnold, stop! You haven't mastered your new skills yet, buddy. Mind reading has many benefits. Now, people can't hide anything from you. But I have to warn you, you won't like everything they think about. The pros in a relationship, you can immediately know if your partner really loves you or not. You can understand the language of animals and you can find your perfect match. But what if all people could read each other's minds? An ideal world without lies or falsehood. Or maybe not. Hey, mister, don't be offended if he thought your nose is too pimply. Gosh darn it, this is a disaster. No, Arnie, stop. Don't even think about it. Cool. Oh. Hey, stop eating in the store. Those vegetables are GMO, genetically modified organisms. This tomato contains a silkworm gene, and your normal everyday cucumber has a 40% similarity to a human from a genetic standpoint. But don't be afraid. GMO isn't scary, and I know just how to prove it to you. Let's genetically modify you, Arnold. It's illegal to do such experiments on human beings. But in 2018, two genetically modified babies were born in China. They were programmed to have immunity to HIV. Now, we're in the Pentagon's tippity top secret laboratory. They mainly produce GMO soldiers. CRISPR-Cas9 is a new technology that allows the DNA of one organism to be implanted into the DNA of another. A regular fish was implanted with genes from a bioluminescent jellyfish. Now it's a glowfish. Vegetables are modified for longer storage and better taste. But what about you, Arnold? 
Do you want to be taller? We can use the Michael Jordan gene. And we'll remove the sweating gene from you, so you stop stinking so much. And meet Arnold 2.0. A new life has begun. Without sweat, people will finally sit next to you on the bus, and your neighbor's grandma will stop calling you a short little redheaded virgin. Now she'll just call you a redheaded virgin. Yes, genetic engineering isn't perfect yet, but it is the future. Designer GMO babies are coming soon, and it'll be possible to remove the cruelty gene from criminals. It's a new stage of evolution. Sweet dreams, Arnold 2.0. Hey, what's going on, Arnold? Did you steal all the syringes from the lab? What, you want to inject yourself with the strawberry gene to smell good and a corgi gene for a perfect butt? Don't do this, Arnold. Stop! I built a machine that makes things invisible for 24 hours. There are three possible approaches to invisibility. The first is perfect transparency, which sadly we cannot achieve. The second is camouflage. When the light rays emanating from the object correspond to the rays that we would expect to see in the absence of the object. This is exactly what my machine does. And the third and last approach is when an object is swathed in a metamaterial, something like an invisible hat, that transforms the path of light rays so that they seem unchanged. Now, we'll try it on a pizza. If everything works out, it will be a pizza that you won't have to share with your friends. Okay, I'm throwing the first switch. Did you know that the first three-dimensional invisibility was achieved by a group from the University of California, Berkeley in 2008? They created a mesh of silver microfibers that doesn't reflect or absorb light rays. As a result, the I sees light only from the objects behind the camouflaged entity. Now the second switch. Don't move, Arnold. Wait, what are you? Oh, you are such an imbecile. I'd smack you upside your head, but damn it, I don't know where you are. Put this hat on so I can see you. Okay, you have 24 hours. What are you gonna do? Who'd have any doubt that's where you'd go first? If my machine worked according to the principle of invisibility, you'd become blind because the invisible body's refractive index becomes equal to that of air, and the lenses in your eyes would lose the ability to reflect light rays and focus them on the retina. The retina itself also wouldn't be able to absorb visible light with its rods and cones due to its invisibility. But as I can see, your eyesight seems to be okay, you slobbering ignoramus. Okay, now that the gym is closing, can we do something else? You have 18 hours left. I meant something a little more significant, you blockheaded jerk monkey. After all, you could reveal terrible uh. secrets and perform incredible feats. You could even make your way into Area 51. Oh, right, it's in a different state. Do you have any ideas? Are you thinking about stealing it? That's a terrible idea. In any case, you need a plan. Of course, thanks to invisibility, you'll be able to stay long after closing. But then you'll need to bypass the guards. And there are also lasers all around the diamond. Can you really do a triple somersault, steal the diamond, and leave the museum in the car that will bring new antiquities for the exposition exactly at 2 a.m.? Even so, this is a really bad idea. The museum closes in an hour. Go hide in the corner and wait. And take off your hat, you mutton-headed twit. Get ready, Arnold. The main thing, obviously, is not to get caught. Arnold, it's go time! Aw, oh, nuts! All you had to do was a triple somersault, and you screwed it up again. <sighs> well, now, now you have to run for your life, Arnold! The exit is just around the corner. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Damn, looks like you stole a glass copy of the diamond. Well, I gotta say this is an unfortunate turn of events. Although, to be honest, it's pretty logical that the original would be kept in a safe. 
<laughs> Arnold, look! It's you, but from the future. Wait, Arnold, he doesn't need your clothes. He needs your help. That's why you're going to the year 2050. Oh dear, that's not the bright future people are thinking about. Indeed, by 2050, the Earth is suffering from global warming. The planet's population has grown to over 10 billion people. This overpopulation has caused a shortage of fresh water. Can you imagine? The planet is on the brink of destruction and they're fighting over Pepsi. All right, back to our mission. In 2050, everyone has cybernetic implants. And since enemy drones can detect implants at a distance of 10 kilometers, you, Arnold, are the most undetectable and invulnerable person in 2050. You are the one who will help change the course of the war. Soldiers assemble. And so, Arnold, the enemy has been spotted in the north, but the way is blocked by electromagnetic guns. Instead of projectiles, they fire electrical impulses, and the impulse speed exceeds 7,000 kilometers an hour. We have to find shelter. Quick, go down into the subway. You escape the guns, Arnold, but there are other problems now. Drones detected by scanners. And don't worry, Arnold, remember, these drones won't even notice you. You just need to rush past them and turn off the power. Well done, Arnold. The future sure wasn't ready for the likes of you. Keep going, buddy. You're almost there. It's time to get to the surface. Arnold, there are a lot of enemies around. Get into the exosuit. With it, you can become a super soldier and travel long distances without getting tired. And all physical activity becomes 20 times easier than it was before. You're unstoppable now, Arnold. Now you just need to figure out the controls. Huh? Arnold, no! You just killed yourself from the future. Okay, well, no time to grieve. Your enemies are coming. You have a flamethrower. Use it. Oh, yeah. No one ever thought that one day this would happen in Hollywood. <laughs> Arnold, look out! A rocket! Arnold! Arnold! Are you okay? Arnold, you were seriously injured. So the doctors gave you some upgrades. Almost as good as new. But there is a problem. Now we need a soldier without implants and you need to travel back in time and find him. And here's your volunteer. Get him into the portal. Hmm. At this conference, Elon Musk will demonstrate the process of installing an advanced microchip into the brain of these cute little monkeys and in the near future into the brain of a person. Arnold, stop teasing the primates with your keys. See? Great. Well, you had it coming, buddy. I don't understand how Elon could have invited such a doofus to his conference. From a scientific point of view, Neuralink is a fairly simple device. It's a set of electrodes that transmit electrical impulses from neurons in the brain to a computer. But from a technical point of view, it's an astonishingly complex device. Imagine that the brain is a big ball of extraordinarily tangled wires, and you need to carefully connect to it without damaging anything. Arnold, run! It's time to pay for parking or a tow truck truck is going to take your car. We need to get the keys from the chimpanzees as soon as possible. Who, with parking prices like these, you're going to have to live on dollar store ramen till the end of the month. Get in the monkey suit. You'll have better luck this way, trust me. I know it smells like butt cheese, but it's only for five minutes. One more time, Arnold. You can do it. Hey, dudes, where are you taking Arnold? Only I'm allowed to experiment on him. Elon, please be gentle with Arnold. But really, who am I talking to? I'm just a voice in the head of this dumbass. Arnold's brain is almost the same size as that of a primate, and this version of the chip will suit him perfectly. Thanks to Neuralink and Wi-Fi, Arnold can now communicate with other owners of this device via the power of thought. He also benefits from a tremendous increase in the speed of interaction with the Internet. Arnold, come on, concentrate. You can do it. Download Monkey Sign Language from the Internet. 
I never doubted that you'd succeed, Arnold. But I didn't think you'd drag it out for a whole day. I thought you were so stupid that even the Neuralink chip couldn't help you. But you just forgot to turn it on, you moron. On Earth, every 10 seconds, 18 people die. Arnold, aren't you afraid of becoming one of them? Scientists have long struggled with the possibility of digitizing the human brain. Just imagine, you could exist forever in digital form in your favorite game. But for this, you need to encode every neuron in your brain. In the human brain, there are 16 and a half billion neurons. Well, obviously, there are clearly fewer neurons in your brain. Hey, you could become a Neuralink beta tester. Neuralink reads brain signals using chips. Not chips, Arnold, but chips. You know, the kind that are implanted in the brain. Great plan. But now this technology is only at the developmental stage. Doors is a horror game. Are you afraid of anything? Well, yes, in the computer, you're immortal. The main thing is not to waste time. Careful! In what? It doesn't hurt at all. Looks like Rush is approaching. This monster rushes across the room, and if you don't hide in time, he'll kill you. What did you think? Immortality has never been free. You have to pay 30 Robux for your resurrection. To earn Robux, you can, for example, watch ads. Lots of boring ads. And you have to do this every time, forever. So it's better not to lose. Be bold, Arnold. Remember, you can't die. Someone's coming. Get in the closet. But if you stay too long, hide a monster who lives in the closet and doesn't like guests will appear. Arnold, be careful, it's an ice monster! You can't look at them or you lose your life. Here's the answer. You have to figure out how to deal with the eyes. This seems to be a pretty good way to achieve immortality. Of course, that is, until someone turns off the computer. It turns out that immortality in Roblox is an expensive and dangerous thing. Looks like they're up to something again. Hey, are you guys gonna try and make someone immortal? Whoa, who is this? I'm guessing this guy has no idea what loneliness is. I think we found just the guy you're looking for. I can't wait to find out how you're gonna make him immortal. Transplanting Voorhees DNA into the handsome dude is a great idea. From a biological standpoint, you can make a person immortal. To achieve this, you simply need to remove from the DNA the propensity to age and suffer from disease. But today, Snot and Gob are trying to figure out how can you kill something that's immortal. The first test is teleportation. To move an object from point A to point B, you need to move all the atoms and neural connections exactly as they were in the original. After that, the original has to be destroyed, with only the perfect copy remaining. Therefore, theoretically, teleportation kills both a mortal and an immortal. Hmm, I was expecting a slightly different result, but it's much too early to give up. Here we have an alkaline bath that can dissolve any living creature. It's a shame these aliens didn't watch Breaking Bad, because after all, then they know that alkali will dissolve a bathtub faster than a human body. I think the next test is gonna kill you for sure, handsome dude. It's gonna start by destroying your brain. No one on this planet can endure something like this for more than a day. You're still alive! Okay. <laughs> Lucky for us, Snot and Gob just so happened to steal this huge meat grinder yesterday. <coughs> what are we waiting for? The meat grinder ain't gonna turn itself on.
seems to have lost his memory. More precisely, all his neural connections have been destroyed, and his mind is like a pure white sheet. In some way, we've killed him. And what shall we do with that now? I don't know, but it'll be something interesting. Uh... Wait a minute. Why would you want to kill an immortal? Uh... Ah, you want to get rid of me and take over my show. Damn, he's on to us. Time to slip away. It's okay. We'll create our own show, and then we're going to be great. Get out. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't even ask your name. Oh, Arnold. Nice to meet you.